Hey, good morning, Scrapper and Scrapettes. How's everybody doing today? <clears throat> All right, so this is to help out my buddy Scrapping with Grandpa Drew. Hopefully, he'll see the video and, uh, you know, we'll go from there. Uh, what Drew was having issues with is these lovely things. Pressure relief valves. We got that on the camera. Here we go. Yep, there we go. A little too close. All right, so Drew is having trouble with these. So you got two different kinds. You got a, a long neck one, a long neck one, then we have a short neck one. The thing with these here is you got to get the steel out of them. So you got here, you got a spring on the inside, and you got to get that out so then you get clean brass. Uh, I've been known to cut them all the way down. But I will want to let you know that when you do cut this, you got to be careful because there's a spring in there and these things are spring loaded. Okay? So this thing, nine out of ten times, will go shooting out. And it can hurt if you're not watching yourself. So <clears throat> I go ahead, get them in the vise. <clears throat> you're going to use a grinder, sawzall, whatever. Please make sure you have safety glasses on, hearing protection if you want. Let's go ahead. Let's cut it. All right. And guess what? That one kind of made a fool out of me and it didn't go shooting out. Go ahead, put a fire, you know, screwdriver in the brass right there on the top. Give it a little twist. And guess what? It came right out. Oh, and it's hot. So, you just take it out, give it a little hit, <clears throat> and there you go. Get all the junk out of there. This is what happens to pressure relief valves on your hot water heaters. That's why every couple of years, you should replace this in your hot water heater. Because all this stuff gets in there. And next thing you know, your, your pressure relief valve ain't working. And your hot water heater just blew up. Okay, so that one there. And believe it or not, this here, I throw this in number two dirty copper. This is copper. Can we see it? Let's see in the video there. Yeah. See the copper? So I throw that in the number two bucket. My guys in scrap yard have never said anything different. These ones here, I, I take it the same approach. The same approach, the approach, the approach. This, you know, the short neck ones, I do the same approach. Go ahead, put it in. Once again, it's gonna go shooting out, but like I said, sometimes it will. That thing will go launch, that spring will go launching out of there. There, it wants to. This one wants to shoot. Break that cap off. And there you go. Try to get it out, dig it out. This one here is on the ring. But remember too, the stem is also brass. So that's why I have them right here. Let them cool off a little bit because they're a little warm. Take that out, give a little tap, pull that out. Remember that is copper. And here we go. Get the junk out of there, a lot of crud in there. So there you go. Two pieces of nice clean brass. Yeah, we go. Yeah, they're in the picture. Two pieces of nice clean yellow brass in the brass bucket. So there we go. That's how that works. You know, hopefully this helps people out. You can use a grinder. You can use a sawzall. 
I had a whole bunch of them before. I put them in my chop saw. So, hopefully this helps people out. Please leave it better than you found it. Please like and subscribe. Everybody stay sa safe out there. Got my boys crowing in the background. For some odd reason, my wife likes chickens. So we got all chickens. All right, scrappers and scrapettes. Thank you very much, and uh, have a great day.